In August 2021, UFL kicked off a wave of football titles aiming for FIFA's throne. At the time, EA Sports' football game was wildly criticized for focusing mainly on its egregious FIFA Ultimate Team mode and ignoring fans' requests to bolster modes like Pro Clubs and Career Mode. UFL, with its free-to-play motto, is a game that puts you, the player, at the center of attention. The developers at Strikers Inc. have crafted a game that respects your skill and dedication, steering away from the pay-to-win model and allowing players to win based off ability. And UFL achieves this with decent gameplay, loads of licensed players, and a fun ultimate team-like setup that doesn't insult your wallet. My name is Curtis with Sports Gamers Online, and this is our SGO pre view of UFL. UFL is currently in its second beta phase, so Strikers Inc. is still trying to iron out the kinks before its official launch. So far, I've played one or two matches in the first beta, but I got to really sink my teeth into the game during the second. Overall, we have a game here that falls between EAFC and PEZ in terms of gameplay. UFL's gameplay makes you appreciate the sheer number of unique animations that EAFC and the FIFA series have. That doesn't mean the gameplay isn't fun, it just means it doesn't have the same fluidity. However, for a free game, UFL is fun and full of quality. The game doesn't have that slipperiness that EA's football title tends to have, so it's harder to dribble past multiple players. This means you'll need to pass more and be creative just to get a shot on goal, which I'm a fan of. On the flip side, defending could be more consistent in Strikers Inc.'s football title. Players feel heavy when you try to control them on the defensive end, and tackling can be too difficult at times. I must have conceded at least one penalty per game, but this is something that the developers can iron out before release. Dribbling, however, feels great and responsive, but sprinting while dribbling is where things get bad. When players receive the ball and try to sprint, the ball bounces around aimlessly, even when you're controlling the world's best players. Again, this is something that the developers can fix before release. Overall, the best part of the game's gameplay is that it's easy for anybody to pick up and play. As I stated before, the game falls between EAFC and PEZ. It doesn't have the same amount of animations as EAFC, so players move similarly to each other. And even though it's a simulation, the game does have an arcade style that will entice newcomers. At its core, UFL is a competitive football title that applies the ultimate team concept to a fair space. Players can freely build their own team with no incentive to pay real world money. Building a team is pretty straightforward. Play games, earn currency, and buy better players. However, what makes UFL unique is that as players use their squad, footballers get better and even gain skill points. This feature ensures that players get the most out of their footballers and craft them to suit their style. As players win games, they earn an in-game currency that can be used to buy footballers, kits, cosmetic items, and more. From what I've seen in the beta, players will win a hefty amount of money after completing matches. This means you can buy the world's best players after just two or three games. I don't know if this is going to change before release, but I like having Ronaldo or Jude Bellingham in my team within just a few hours of playtime. I wouldn't say that UFL is threatening EAFC's throne, but it is a free alternative for players who are into the competitive side of football games. I think UFL is set to give eFootball a run for its money since the games are in a similar position. Both games are free to play with a heavy focus on esports and team building. Nevertheless, Strikers Inc. still has time to iron out the kinks and receive user feedback before its official release. With fun gameplay, an already big fan base, and a focus on competitiveness and fairness, UFL could find its place in football gaming. Stay tuned to Sports Gamers Online for the full review of UFL when it is released. If you guys like the content we do here on Sports Gamers Online, then hit that like button and subscribe to SGO right now. And if you want the most out of your SGO experience, then join SGO Insider.